this ring. Yeah. Back with another video. Back with another freaking video, man. You already know, man. Hey, y'all requested it. We going to do it. So I saw multiple different comments saying, man, y'all do Larry Elder. He's a free thought uh, man. So what? I was looking for my phone because when we get these resources, this is what I need to, to do the research. Where my phone at? You see it? I don't see it. Oh, we ain't man. gonna worry about it right this second. No, it must be in the back of my mom. That's fine. So, so Larry on this Elder. one, write this down. Larry Elder. So he says CNN Don Lemon gets schooled on the history of slavery by British guests. So let's go. Let's you ready? go. Larry Elder. Let me write this resource down because I'm just <sighs> curious. I'm not conservative. I got me a little list on building here. Larry Elder. Who was the other guy we just did? White guy. Um, Tucker Carlson. Tucker. Carlson. Okay. Ready. Let's go. Channel, Larry Older Highlights, has been demonetized. They never tell you why. If you ever read the trial by by, uh, by Kafka, that's what it's like. You have no idea why, where, when, how, what you did wrong, but all of a sudden you're demonetized. Can't make any money. So I want you to know that you can go to epictv.com slash Larry Elder to watch the shows that you can't watch on YouTube. Also click on the description below and make a contribution. If you want to continue watching these shows, uh, without regard to whether or not YouTube might ban them, might restrict them, might bottle cap them, uh, might restrict their availability, donate, click on the, on the link below, and send a donation. And you'll be sure to keep getting these shows. See, that's whack, man. Sometimes also, power click on the description below and make sure you're on our mailing list so that you always are aware of the yeah, I'll go YouTube sign up. videos that we put up. Y'all yeah, sign up for layers of mailing list. But we need our own thing just like... Him. Yeah, because exactly. if, I believe everybody they'll want to shut you down eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So Patreon or whatever. Yeah. Well, the death of Queen Elizabeth II has caused a lot of reactions, not least of which has been a renewed call for reparations, because after all, the British monarchy uh, was a dynasty. Uh, there was an expression called the sun never set on the British Empire. And some people like the man that Donald Trump called the dumbest man in, the te in television, Don Lamont of CNN, who still has a job for reasons that escape me, was interviewing one of these royal commentators and suggested well, not reparation. Me. And this is a little, I guess, not too old, but it's because, you know, Don Lemon's not CNN anymore. Well, he's not. He don't have his position anymore. Okay. Yeah, he got cut. And got a bit of a beatdown. Watch this. Well, this is coming when, you know, there's all of this wealth and you hear about it comes as England is facing rising costs of living, a living crisis, austerity budget cuts and so on. And then you have the, those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism. And they're wondering, you know, one hundred billion dollars, twenty four billion dollars here and there, five hundred million there. Some people want to be paid back and uh, and members of the public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are? You know, you have all of this vast wealth. Those are legitimate concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it, though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? You hear this? Where was the beginning of the supply chain? Now, we've done a video here for Epic Times. We're going to replay it for you in just a second. We talked about the issue. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? <laughs> <laughs> Because okay. slavery, the African slave trade, transatlantic done by the Europeans, and the Arab slave trade done by the Muslim Arabs mm. could not have taken place without the complicity, cooperation of African chiefs who sold them in mass. And see, that's, I don't want to stop US it too much because it's going, it's going to make this too long when I stop too many times. But that's the thing. We, we're stuck as a people, I think, in this place of I can't move because of what happened to me to, to happen to my ancestors in slavery. And uh, they need to take care of us with a, with a check. 
and we stuck in this place and we're not really educated and understand that you stuck because you want to be. They were put off kings, African kings put Africans off. You don't have to do, you can go and be free and make as much um, a millionaire as you want to. You don't have to be stuck in that place. Don't wait on no check. Right. You'll be a multimillionaire waiting on a check that may or may never come. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So okay. to European slavers and to Arab slavers. And Mr. Lamont seems to be clueless about that. Nor did he know, apparently, that Britain outlawed slavery some 20 years before we did without the loss of 600,000 lives, both in the North and the South. Mm. That was in Africa. And when the, across the entire world, when the slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished sla uh, slavery? The first nation in the world to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce was the British. In, in Great Britain, they abolished slavery. Oh. 2,000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery. Why? Because the African kings were rounding up their own people. They had them on cages waiting no. in the beaches. No one was running into Africa to get them. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely, that's where they should start. And maybe, I don't know, the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery, that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. Uh, let's go. Mm -hmm. ah, look it, at her it's face. It's an interesting discussion. Yeah, you Lord. know. Look at her face. <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> that's called getting hit in the head with a two by four, the dumbest man on television. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I appreciate say that. it. We'll continue to, to discuss in the future. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, what about that, Don Lamont? Most, by the way, African slaves remained in Africa and served as slaves. Yeah, that's an interesting discussion. And we talked about this. We did a video, as I mentioned, for Epic Times, and here it is. I want to ask you something. You know what this is, don't you? <laughs> it's Cotton. a my pillow. Okay. And you know what you can do? You can go to mypillow.com and use promo code Elder. And there I'm gonna let it play because we rent to his stuff for free. Products. I kid you not. Or make it even easier. Get your Close pillow. Your Mypillow.com. Make sure you use promo code Elder. And it's not just pillows. Look how, look how soft this guy is. <laughs> it's not just pillows. They've got towels. And not only are the towels great looking, and not only do they come in different colors, but they actually work. They are absorbent. How often do you go to the towel store and you see towels that look good, they're fluffy, you take them home and they don't, they don't absorb the water? I mean, scratch well, your, your, your butt out. all the way up. Scoured the country and found a company with proprietary technology to make towels that actually work. Also, there's the MyPillow slippers. Very soft, very comfortable, not quite like a foot massage, but close to it. And then there are the, the MyPillow towels. Giza Dream bed sheets. don't forget those. Finest cotton in the world. I sleep on one every single night. So my pillows, my slippers, my towels. There's also the mattress topper, and the towels come in a bunch of different sizes. And please, don't forget the sheets. Use promo code ELDER. You can tell Larry reading something because he pauses and just makes sure his eyes don't scan over well, it. I was thinking he's doing a great job Or call the number on your screen. You know, one of the reasons I believe that the that, reparations movement has gained steam is because so many people believe that Africans were quote unquote kidnapped out of Africa. And that's what it gets me. Do you think when you look at it as heavy armed as those kings and kingdoms were in Africa, that from sellers to going, pop, 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 take it down? No way. They would have lost their lives trying to come over there and try to take them. So well, that's the education we don't know. Well I, rem well, I remember in a couple of my classes, U.S. History before 1865, we talked about that. And I remember, excuse me, reading about us selling ourselves into slavery. I knew that. I knew that. But nobody wants to hear or talk about it. They still blame it on the, the white man. You know what I'm However, saying? However, yeah. spears and bullets don't penetrate the same. Yeah. Meaning, 
that a bullet can take a, a, a man out a lot faster than he can get a, a spear o- across. So, you know, there was still some uneven. Not enough. It, it, it wasn't enough. You Not, know, they if had it was a, they had, they had guns, even playing but they, grounds, then it would have been a little different, but they didn't. However, we still, you know, sold ourselves into slavery. But like, once again, I still don't feel like they had any idea as to, maybe they didn't care as to what was going to happen to the I people. I think they cared they less. Them. Could have been. You thought they were going to go over there and just, and be like biblical the term slave biblical is? No, it wasn't. I believe I believe was. it's like you got to So they wanted they the whole point. They wanted guns. They wanted things to trade. Mm-hmm. They 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 were like, no, take these people. Right. I'm saying I know that's harsh and but not excessive. They, they said take these people. I just know once you they switch, didn't feel that. once if I like I told you, if you got you got a cell phone. I hear you. I got some Jordans. I, I say, you. I'm giving you these swipes of Jordans. You don't care about what I do with them shoes once you got them? I don't. What's the appeal? And I ain't saying that. I'm saying that. To, I ain't saying that to be insensitive. And because we are descendants of, we're descendants of slaves. Mm-hmm. But it's nowhere. I don't think they care. They got everything they wanted to take back. Now, recall when Ben Carson became the HUD secretary and said this about slaves versus immigrants. Land of dreams and opportunity. There were other immigrants who came here in the bottom of slave ships, worked even longer, even harder for less. Now then President Obama said almost exactly the same thing. Life in America was not always easy. It wasn't always easy for new immigrants. Certainly it wasn't easy for those of African heritage who had not come here voluntarily, and yet in their own way were immigrants themselves. Now Carson got hammered. He's insensitive, doesn't understand the difference between a slave and an immigrant. And of course, the kidnap thing in particular. Now, Obama didn't get hammered because Obama's a Democrat. You know how that rolls. But as to Carson and the kidnapped angle, here's what one critic said. Quote, immigrants booked passage and came to these shores in steerage, enduring heat, stench, and cramped conditions in hopes of better lives in America. Slaves were kidnapped and came to these shores shackled, lying cheek to cheek in their own body waste. End of quote. Kidnapped? And writing for the 1619 New York Times project, Nicole Hannah-Jones said the same thing. Quote, In August 1619, just 12 years after the English settled Jamestown, Virginia, one year before the Puritans landed at Plymouth Rock, and some 157 years before the English colonists even decided they wanted to form their own country, the Jamestown colonists bought 20 to 30 enslaved Africans from English pirates. The pirates had stolen them from a Portuguese slave ship that had forcibly taken them from what is now the country of Angola. So far, so accurate. But these men and women who came ashore on that August day were the beginning of American slavery. They were among the 12.5 million Africans who would be kidnapped from their homes and brought in chains across the Atlantic Ocean. 12.5 million Africans kidnapped? You see, this kidnap narrative was made popular by the 1970s miniseries Roots, in which the protagonist, Kunta Kinte, was kidnapped by a raid led by a white man. The inconvenient truth is that most black slaves in Africa felt and were I felt your spear. Stop. Stop. I felt everything. I know you've been on wife for a long carry time. Carry on, carry on, carry to on. European and Arab slavers by African chieftains, or they were captured in raids conducted by black profit seekers and then sold to European and Arab slavers. This is what a Nigerian novelist wrote about her father telling her a story about her great grandfather. And I'm going to say it on Paul's suit, man. Shout out, still shout out to any of my South African family that's watching this. This is no take at our family, but this is true history beyond all of us in our age. This is way before we were here. 
and this did happen. Here's what she said, quote, Records from the Transatlantic Slave Trade Database, directed by historian David Eltis at Emory University, showed that the majority of captives brought to the U.S. came from Senegal, Gambia, Congo, and eastern Nigeria. 